What's up YouTube, this is Nimit from Webchronic and today I'm gonna show you how you can create the interactive animated post for your Facebook or your Instagram page because that certainly catch the eyes of your business prospects. In this tutorial, we'll be using a couple of tools. One is the Lodi files and the other one is Canva. So if you're new here, consider subscribing the channel to stay updated with upcoming tutorials. Now without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are on my computer screen now. So the first step is to go to lodifiles.com. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So if you haven't heard of Lodi, then you're about to learn something amazing ahead. Now let's go to L-O-T-T-I-E files.com and hit enter. Okay, so what is Lodi? The future of animation and interactive design. So let's go down a bit. All right, it says Lodi is the future. It is an open source animation file format like no other. It is smaller with higher quality and allows you to create animations that can be interacted with. So versatile, you can easily implement it on almost all the platforms out there. Now let's go back to the top and click on sign up on the right hand side top over here. So we can sign up with one of these options, Twitter, Google, or maybe your email. I would like to go with Google, so I'll click over here. And then I'm going to select the Google account. This one. Okay, so it says, how do we best identify you? Are you a designer, a developer, a PM stakeholder, or others? I would like to go with others. So let's click over here and click on let's go. Okay, so we are in the dashboard section of Lodi files, a beginner guide. We don't want to do that. So let's go to the top and click on animations. Okay, now let's just explore these templates a bit. Let's go down and see how many options we have to pick from. All these templates that you see over here, they are for free and then down below from marketplace these are the paid templates so let's click on number two these are again free templates we can pick from let's see what all options we have here and if we find something good we are going to download that option Let's click on number three, page number three. Okay, so you see we have so many pages over here, even 58, let's click on 58. So here we have bunch of amazing free animated graphics that we can download. Now let's just download a few from here and then we'll be using another tool that is Canva to create amazing post for Instagram or for Facebook. Now let's do the search over here at the top. Let's click over here. Okay, now let's say that the first post I wanna create for my own business, which is to create the website or I do SEOs. So either I can mention something over here like create website or I can mention SEO over here or I can click on featured, recent, popular, animators so let me first try something in the popular category let's click on it and now let's see what all free options i have here which i can pick to create the first instagram or the facebook post i think i can pick this one let me click over here so now let me show you what all you can do over here you can change the animation speed. Let's click over here. Okay, now I've changed the speed to 2.5 
as you can see that the speed has increased but I want to bring it back to 1 to the default speed and the other thing we can do over here let's go down a bit and then we see the background color it gives you some options to pick from also the color code now let's say that we want to change it to maybe this one this one looks good or maybe this one this is also good and in case if you're liking any of these colors from these options you can just copy the code from here like that or else what you can do you can go to google.com and then you can mention professional colors maybe okay professional colors code and then go to images and here you'll get a lot of options to pick from let's say we select this one and these are some color options let's go down a bit let's say I'm liking this color let's click over here click again and from here the next thing what you can do some websites will give you the color code but some websites won't give you the color code in that case what you can do in case if you're using Google Chrome the next step would be to go to Google extensions let's type Google extensions over here and hit enter and then go to chrome.google.com this is the Google extension store and here you need to mention eyedropper so what basically is the eyedropper or the eye picker tool it's going to pick the color from the website and it will tell you the exact color code of that particular color on the website in my case I have already downloaded the rainbow color picker what you can do you can you just have to click over here and then you need to mention add to Chrome and once you do that at the top of your screen on the right hand side you will see the color picker extension added on the top bar and then you can go back to the website and click on the color picker and then click on pick color from the web page let's click like this and then just hover the mouse on the color you want to pick and once you do that and click again then go back here so this is the color code of this particular color let's try some other color now let's click over here and pick color from the web page and then let's say I select this one and then I click over here and this color is added on the color picker extension let's go back here copy this like that copy this and we are going to use this color over here we can try this over here let's click like that a hashtag followed by the color so this is exactly the same color which we have picked from this particular website so let's go back here and then we have some options over here before we go ahead and download this file I would like to tell you that if you have a website and a page builder plugin like Elementor installed in it that supports the JSON file so by uploading the same in media files of your website you can have these animations on your web page I'll probably make a video on this that how you can add these JSON files on your website pages and I'm going to leave the link in the description box below once the video is ready and now let's just go ahead and download this file let's go back to the top it says download the JSON file the JSON file is for the web page builders like Elementor which I just told you and it gives you more options to pick from like the JSON file, the zip archive, the animated GIF or the mp4 file we are going to pick the animated GIF file but since we have changed the color so we are not going to click over here instead at the top we'll click on convert to GIF so let's click over here and the color that we had picked from the color picker here we are going to paste that color on this particular page so let's paste it over here once you click on it this box will open up just paste the color over here so this is our color which we had chosen so let's click OK and then let's click on convert to GIF 
it's a bit slow process it's going to take a minute or two maybe so let's wait okay so as we see here the file is converted so let's go ahead and download the same so now let's click on download the GIF file okay so as we see that the file is now downloaded let's have a look okay it looks pretty good the color has changed and the graphic is moving perfectly so let's close this now let's just quickly go ahead and download a few more files and once we have four to five files downloaded we are going to create some great content for the Facebook or for the Instagram marketing so let's go back to the search and now let's say that I'm opening up a new bakery shop so let me type something like that over here so let's type bakery over here okay this one is looking okay so let's click on it and let's see which color we can pick okay the red color is going fine over here so let's copy this color and go back to the top and click on convert to GIF file and then let's select this and paste the color over here click OK and then click on convert to GIF so let's do that and now let's wait again okay so as we can see here this one is also converted so now let's click on download the GIF file let's have a quick look alright looks good let's close this let's go back to the top and now let's say that the other post I wanna create is for my photography page and I wanna type camera over here and now let's see which one I can pick from here let's go to page number two okay so this one is looking good we can select this one let's click over here even the background color is also very nice so what we can do we can instead of converting the same to GIF we can simply go to download and select download the animated GIF so let's click on it okay so let's have a quick look alright so as we can see this file is also downloaded so let's close this and let's close this and let's go back here now let's say that the other file we want to download is for the gym trainer he wants to create a Facebook post or the Instagram post for social media marketing so let's select workout over here and now let's see if we get something good to pick from okay so we have some good templates we can pick from but if you look over here this one is for 1.99 dollars so this is the paid one but we are going to select the free ones so let's have a quick look well I think I'm liking this one so I can pick this and I think I want to keep the background color as white so let's go here because we are not changing the color so we can download the file directly from here so let's select the animated GIF and it's downloaded let's have a quick look looks good so let's close this and let's close this let's go back here so we are going to pick the last template because in this tutorial we are going to make five different Instagram or the Facebook post for different businesses so now let's select the last one which is travel for someone who is into travel business so let's click enter and now let's see which one we can pick from here let's have a quick look
I think this one is looking good. Let's click on it. And let's try some colors from here. This is looking good. This one is also fine. Let's go back here and see if we get something good. We can try this color. Let's click over here. And let's try this one, the last one. Let's go back here. Select the color and take the mouse over here. Let's click over here. Let's go back to the color picker. Let's copy this. And let's go back here. And now let's click on convert to GIF. And then select this. Paste the color code over here. Click OK. The color is looking good. So now let's click on convert to GIF. Now let's download this one as well. Let's click over here and have a quick look. All right, the design looks good. Let's close this. And now let's close the extra tabs from here. Let's close this one and this one and this one let's close this and this and this okay so now we need to type canva over here c-a-n-v-a canva.com okay so it says get started with canva it is free forever you can create stunning designs and documents in just a few minutes no design experience required. I will leave the link of Canva in the description box below. So now it gives you three options to pick from. One is to sign up with Google or to sign up with Facebook or you can sign up with your email. So I'll select sign up with Google. So let's click over here. And then I need to select the Google account. I'll select this one. Okay, so we are in the dashboard section area of Canva. So now let's go ahead and create our first design. On the right hand side top it says create a design. So let's click over here. And then we need to select Instagram post. We can use the same post for our Facebook page as well. So let's select Instagram post. Well, I have created a complete tutorial on how to make Instagram post from scratch using free Canva tool. You can click on the I button above to watch the same. So now let's go ahead and create our first design. So let me tell you about all these options we have in brief. So the first one is the templates. We can select this and we can directly pick a template over here and we can do the changes. Like you can just select this and you can change the name. You can mention your company's name like that. And you can do the editing from here. And these are the pre-made templates. You can simply change the content. You can change the background image and you can make it yours. And the other option we have is the uploads. We are going to use this option. Then we have some free images or the paid images as well to pick from. You just have to select the image you like. Let's say you want to mention travel over here. And let's say you like this image. So you just have to click over here. Select this and do the adjustment. And then you just have to right click on it. And you can select send backwards. So the content will come in the front. You can then select this, click over here and then change the color. So what all I'm explaining you about Canva and how to create these posts. So I already have the complete tutorial made on this. 
you can just click on the link on the description box below and you can get started with Canva. So now let's go ahead and create the first design. So let's delete this. And now let's go to uploads. So we need to upload the first file. So let's go to my downloads. Select the first file and I can just drop it over here. And then I can do the adjustment. Okay, so that's how you can do the adjustment like this. And then on the left hand side, we have text. So let's click over here. So we can either click over here and add the heading and we can change the font from here or if you do not have a good font in your mind in that case what you can do let's delete this first and these are some templates again now let's go down and see if we get something good to pick from okay let's see I'm liking this font so I just have to click on it and then drop it over here at the top and then what I can do I can just select this and do the right click and I can click on ungroup and once I do that this heading will be separated from this heading so I can then select this one and drop it over here just like that and I can drop it here so once you get this center line it means you are in the center of the page now let's select this one select it and then I can mention and then what I can do I can just bring it in the center and then I can select this at the top I can click here and I can change the color let's say I want to make it white and then I can select this I can increase the size okay now it looks good and then what I can do I can select this and then I can say and I can do the size adjustment like this that's the center then select this click here I can change the color if I have the color code, I can mention the color code at the top and that's how I can change the color or else I can select from one of these or I can click over here and I can create a color like this. But I don't want to do that. I want to stick to white color. So I'll select this. And then what I can do, I can simply copy this control C and I can paste it control V and then I can drop it over here then let's say I want to type my website address bring it in the center and I can select this again and I can decrease the size okay that's the center looks pretty good there's one more thing I can do over here what I can do I can go to element and from here I can select a shape let's say I want to select this one and then I can do the adjustment 
bring it over here then I can increase the size okay then I can select this and I can change the color let's say I want to select black color Now let's say I want to select this again and at the top once you click over here this is the transparency I can decrease it like this okay so 20 is fine right so what exactly we have done we have picked up an element and we have used that element on our heading and then we picked up the black color and we change the transparency from 100 to 20 so what exactly has happened it has basically given a highlight to our headings and this concept looks pretty good so let's have a quick look okay our template looks good the same thing you can do over here as well you can copy this and we can paste it and we can just drop it over here at the bottom like that Or you can just select this and then the up arrow key. All right, looks good. Okay, so the first Instagram post or the Facebook post for our social media marketing is ready. So basically, we have used the template which we had downloaded from the Lori files, plus, we used Canva to do the editing, and our post looks amazing. And now let's click on plus and select this and hit delete and now let's create our second design now let's go back to uploads on the left and then select this and go to downloads and then I can select this one okay click here and I can resize it I want to make it a little bigger and when you move it and then when this plus sign is created it means you're in the center of the page okay the animation looks good and then the same thing we are going to do we can select text and let's find something good from here I can select this one, move it here and again the same thing. Let's do the right click and select ungroup and then let's see which one we want to keep. Let's say we want to keep this one. This font is looking good. This is also fine. We can delete this. We can delete this. Looks good. Now let's do the editing work. Let's say that the bakery name is Rockstar Bakery. Or Rockstar Bakers. Do the adjustment. Okay, select this and click here okay this one is fine I'll select this one and then I can select this and I can increase the size let's say 28 and I can type new bakery in town increase the size bring it here and I can increase the size like this as well all right select this and change the color all right looks good I can copy this and I can paste it 
control C and control V like that and then I can say coming soon okay so our second design is also ready and it looks good so this is the first one and that's the second one now let's click on plus again and create the third design select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard like that and now let's go back to uploads and then select the folder and select the third file drag and drop like that do the adjustment and now similarly we can create the third post if we want we can copy some stuff from here copy this and select this and paste it and then we can change the text from here let's say I want to type rockstar photography and then do the size adjustment I can select this and decrease the size let's say I want to make it 52 and then what you can do you can select this one we can select from here and change the font or else we can change the font size or else we can change the color of the font we can make it bold or we can make it italic or we can underline this or we can do the alignment like this that's the center we can make it uppercase or lowercase we can add bullets or we can increase and decrease the spacing from here and then I've already showed you the transparency feature so that's our heading or else what we can do on Canva, we can select photos from here and let's say I want to type camera over here. And let's pick an image from here. Now let's say I select this one. Then I can decrease the size like that. And I can just drop it over here. And then I can simply copy this and paste it control C and control V then drop it over here then I can select this I can decrease the size to let's say 22 it's too small select this again I think 30 would be fine and then I can select this and change the content let's say I want to type portfolio and then the separator then events then the separator again and then let's say I want to type films alright looks good alright so I can then do the adjustment alright looks good and then I can copy this again and I can paste it then move it here and then let's say I want to mention my website address let's say I want to mention www.webchronic.com select this again and I want to make it 24 and that's how you can do the adjustment okay so our third post is also ready and this one also looks stunning 
so let's click on plus and let's create the fourth one select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard okay so now we are going to create our fourth post and we are going to create the travel post first because we are going to work on the background so on the left hand side we see background so let's click over here and let's see if we get something good to pick from let's type travel over here and we can select this one that's the map and let's go back to the folder and go to downloads and select this one drag and drop and do the size adjustment okay like that okay so let's go to text on the left and in fact let's go to elements first and select this shape drop it over here like that and then we can go to transparency and let's make it 11 and we can select this again we can change the color the gray color is fine here and now let's go to text and select a nice text over here let's say this one then drag it and drop it then we can select this and we can delete this because we don't want this like that select this the alignment in the center and then we can type let's say rockstar travel company Select this again, click here, change the color to black. All right, looks good. And then what we can do, we need a smaller text as well. Let's select this. Select this and delete it. And then select this, move it here. And then we can type packages then a separator corporate travel a separator again and tours select this and change the color to black okay that's the center the up arrow key if you're not so satisfied with the adjustment and you want to move it gradually then you can use the up arrow key or the down or the left or the right like that okay so looks good so our fourth template is also ready so that's our first one the second one and then we have the photography one the third one and then the travel one the fourth one so let's create the last one click on plus again select this and hit the delete key on the keyboard so now let's create the last one for the gym trainer see the reason why i'm creating different and multiple posts here so you get familiar with canva as it is an amazing tool and you can do a lot of stuff on it plus the more you use canva the more you learn it so now let's create the last post for the gym trainer so now let's upload our gem file let's go back to the folder and select this and drop it over here 
and select the background and make it white all right looks good that's the center of the page I don't want to increase the size of this image it looks good to me so similarly what I can do this time I'll go back to the first image and select this and I can copy this control C bring it here control V then I can select this and I can change the transparency I'll make it 90 this time all right looks good I can select this again copy this and paste it then drop it over here all right like that and I can increase the size that's the center select this and I can say my name over here move it here I can copy this and I can paste it and I can drop it over here then I can say get in shape with me call at my number that is let's say zero 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 do the size adjustment and that's the center then I can change the font size to let's say 28 it's too small I'll make it 35 what I can do I can delete this and I can hit enter and then what I can do I can select this all and at the top I can go to spacing and I can increase the line height like that and then I can select this move it here then select the background and I can increase the size of it and then I can copy this again and then paste it then I can select this change the size to let's say 21 then I can say your personal trainer like that that's the center okay looks good or else what I can do the size is 21 I can copy this and paste it move it here and I can delete the number from here and then I can move it here and now I can say call at my number okay now it looks more clean now let's say if we select this again and let's try to change the color of it let's see if something else looks good on it it's too dark all right looks good and then I can select this again and change the color okay so it looks good so we are done with all the five templates on this tutorial I can select this and change the name 
let's see I want to type templates for Instagram and Facebook post that's my folder name so that's my folder name and these are the five pages the five images let's have a quick look looks good all right looks good that's nice this is also good and this is also good okay so now let's go ahead and download them all at the right hand side top you see download so let's click over here click on download again and these are the five pages the export format needs to be either the video format the mp4 or the GIF I would select video format over here and then select the pages I would advise you to select the pages one by one because if you select them all then it's going to create just one video with all the files so let's select page number one click on done and then click on download okay so now let's click on close and then select here download and download the second file select the page number two click on done and then download again okay let's close this and then select it again then download again and select the third file click on done and then download all right let's click on close click here go to download select the fourth page select done and then download again all right now let's select this last one which is the page number five and click on download again okay now let's close this and let's have the final and the quick look on all the templates that we have created okay looks good all right looks nice so pretty nice templates for your Instagram or your Facebook post maybe the post or your story thank you for watching this video I hope you learned a new technique to create interactive animated post for your Facebook or your Instagram business page feel free to like this video and consider subscribing the channel if you would like to learn more about making websites and learning digital marketing it's time for me to sign off. This is Nimit from Webchronic. You have a good day, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.